Hi, this is a quick video on just to talk about uh, some events that took place within the last week that uh, may be of interest to people who are interested in the whole um, situation with regard to face masks and um, vaccines, um, especially in, in Ireland. So on um, 3rd of February um, last week, uh, Thursday I stood in front of a primary school in Cork um, with a sign that said face masks damage children's health Irish government report August 2020 so I was on my own um, and um, the principal came out to me uh, and asked me why I was doing this. So I told him um, I had tried to contact him uh, on numerous occasions by email and telephone and he wouldn't call me back. He said, I said he was ignoring me and he said, I'm not ignoring you, um, which is obviously um, incorrect so then he asked me um, would I stand elsewhere as I was impeding the uh, progress of children uh, to either side of me so I said to the principal um, yes I'll accede to your request and stand elsewhere, which I did. Um, I stood across the road from two mothers came over and um, thanked me for what I was doing and said that we should coordinate. Um, uh, we exchanged phone numbers um, so following this um, I got a phone call from the principal and again we went through the questions about why I was doing this and um, you know reiterating the, the same points I've been making for um, a number of months um, he had asked me for um, to present him with the basis for my arguments um, that face masks um, that I understand that face masks damage health so I sent him the Irish government report on the matter um, he didn't respond so um, we went through it again and again I reiterated that Tony Hulhan is responsible for um, Tony, Dr. Tony Hulin, who is the Chief Medical Officer in Ireland, um, has been, been involved in a number of, um, like scandals is too um, polite a word to use, but they are um, the um, horrific injuries to um, mostly children in Ireland uh, due to uh, being um, having pandemics administered to them. So 80 individuals sued the Irish state uh, protecting GlaxoSmithKline um, who's one of the um, farm, big pharma companies that get a, a, a soft um, treatment in Ireland um, overcharging for medications and uh, creating a monopoly in Ireland for their produce. Um, in exchange for the, uh, the benefits, which are uh, some employment, um, certainly uh, in, in in our country, but there's a price to pay for the for this, um, a big price. Um, so he oversaw the uh, pandemic scandal, which created um, um, give give rise to narcolepsy. Um, uh, 
which is a, a kind of a living hell um, for 80 people at least who were able to sue um, the um, the care home scandals which emanated in early uh, 2020 for which um, Dr. Marcus de Bruyne um, resigned from his post in the health service executive um, and um, then of course there's the cervical cancer um, scandal um, where as far as I'm aware um, Hulahan uh, lied to the government about uh, what was taking place in relation to dealing with um, these this uh, mistake misdiagnosis of um, countless uh, women um, who should have been informed of their cancer status um, I don't know enough about this but uh, again I think it's fair to say that uh, Hulahan should not be anywhere near a uh, position of responsibility in any medical um, area of, of med medical responsibility never mind effectively leading this country single handedly uh, through the auspices of the WHO and um, various whatever various um, NGOs or other bodies that are quite obviously uh, directing his actions um, and thereby directing the actions of the government who is basically just messenger boys for um, large organisations like uh, the Bill, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, uh, who fund the WHO um, and various organisations like the World Health or the the World Economic Forum um, and uh, yeah without going into all of those things but um, in any case um, the principal um, the principal um, stated that if I should stand in front of if I should take the same actions again that the authorities would be um, called uh, presumably he means on Garda Shikana, um and his his reasoning for that was that I had been um, apparently um, harassing or int sorry intimidating children um, in front of the school I had no interaction with any of the children I was very careful not to have any not to say a single word to any child um, because it's not my business it's simply my my only um, business is with my child who attends the school so um, I'm very careful about these things um, so he asked me to reassure him that I wouldn't do that again I said um, why would I do that what what um, the only reason you're talking to me is because because I did that so um, I got a result where I wasn't getting getting one before so that's why I took the actions that I did um, so I would argue that it's it's your fault that I ended up standing in front of the school not mine you haven't informed the parents that their children are not mandated to wear the masks I didn't know that until you told me but you didn't tell me until I had for the third time stood in front of your school so I'm just wondering what like what what do you want what more do you want from a rational human being a rational parent you owe it to parents who send who who put their children in your hands to look after their needs 
when they're in the school to, to supposedly educate them and you're not informing parents who have a constitutional right and even more importantly a moral right so my daughter was put under tremendous pressure by uh, first of all being called up to the office we were trying to keep keep things quiet where uh, where she would not get into any she wouldn't be noticed by the other children but um, you made sure that um, that the attention was brought to her personally by being called up to the office like I don't know what uh, the thinking was behind that but um, but then the the uh, other kids were wondering why she was called up to the office so um, we need to be very careful and that's on top of health concerns of the masks which deprive the children of oxygen we know this we don't even I mean it, it common sense tells us this but you know um, there are numerous studies that support that conclusion as well so I'm not going to promise anything to anyone I don't owe anything to anyone so no I don't promise to not do anything we need to stand up for our children parents need to stand up for their children and not put up with bullying there's enough but there was there was enough bullying in school when I was in school there was enough bullying in the workplace and amongst adults but bullying children adults bullying children is the most contemptible cowardly vicious act that anyone could perpetrate and it needs to stop now stop bullying children stop harming their health it's a disgrace it's a moral and it's a crime 